Our nation in the grips of a deadly opioid obsession, and recent numbers from the CDC are revealing just how deadly it can be. In 2015 alone, more than 33,000 people died from opioid overdoses. But how do we stop this growing epidemic, which is clearly a problem? Well, a new DNA test explores the genetics of addiction, and it actually might hold the key to figure out if you and your family members have problems. Here to tell us more about it is Dr. Human Mella Med. He is a spinal surgeon with Marina Del Rey Hospital, which is in California. Thank you so much for being with sure, us. Sure, absolutely. So tell us about this DNA test. DNA test is the proof opioid test, which assesses a patient's risk of developing an addiction, abuse to narcotic medications. And there is cross-reactivity with psychiatric disorders um, such as anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, and there's a test the genetic area in the brain called the brain reward ca cascade system, which helps to show if the patients can become addicted or have substance abuse issues. How do you do? How do you administer the test? It's very easy, just a swab in your mouth. Wow. You just put a little swab in your mouth, and then the test goes off. It goes, and then about two, three weeks later, you get the results back. And you can tell based on the results whether or not someone is going to be prone to an addiction. And, and you test your patients for narcotics. Absolutely, the proof opioid test shows basically that what medication works for them. Wouldn't you want to know if you have like surgery or pain, mm -hmm. like rather than trying different medications, this works, this doesn't, you mm -hmm. directly go to the medication that actually works for you and the optimum dose and minimizing side effects. So let's say you have a patient and you do the swab and you determine that they are predisposed to addiction problems and it, do you give them medications? Because if they're prone to addiction, wouldn't they have a higher chance of being addicted? Absolutely. So exactly what you just talked about huh? in the beginning, like how like this is an epidemic problem. We spend hundreds of millions of dollars, and the number one culprit for giving out the opiates is the doctors. So knowing that knowledge that I have, I'm very careful on how much narcotic. And I tell the patients, you know, I'm not here. The narcotics are not here for the main for the pain. This is just for very very short term, and I don't try to give it more than that. And knowing that results, yes, I'm very careful. Become very basically frugal in terms of how much I, I prescribe the medication. So you operate on people's backs. You're a spine Absolutely. doctor, but before you administer surgery, you're going to do that swab to determine whether or not your patients are going to be addicted to their pain medicines, right? Absolutely. And to see what the side effects are as far as how much, what's the optimum dosing is and not to give, I mean, it has been amazing. Some of the patients, when you give them the test, are like, oh my God, I knew, wow, I know why this never worked. I always knew this medication doesn't work right. on me. So why don't all doctors use this? It seems simple because then you could prevent people from getting addicted. Well, there, there's multiple reasons for that. A, I don't think we get the education in medical school. I never learned about it in medical school or residency. We just learned this is the pain, this is the protocol. There was a protocol to do. You're not mm -hmm. educated on that. So somehow I always like, always like to think outside the box, and I, somehow I came across this, uh, the proof genetic test. And the other problem, on, I, I hate to say this, but doctors sometimes want a patient to be addicted because the patient keeps coming back so they right. can keep writing the medication. That's another huge problem that hasn't been looked into. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank we you very much. That. Thank you.